I try to be non-judgy, um, which is hard. Talking about it helps, like uh, being open about what you're going through. Once you give voice to your worst fears and anxieties, sometimes a light is shed on it that it's not that bad. I have two kids and what worked for my older daughter didn't necessarily work for my little one. What works for my sister's kids doesn't work for mine. You know, I partnered with Pull Ups to help them launch their Time to Potty campaign. And one of the things that I loved on their website, they're like, it's not one kid, one size fits all for kids. When they're potty training, they have like a quiz you can take, find out your kid's potty personality. Really believe in perpetrating that myth that you know it's easy to have it all I mean I have days where I'm just like this terrible at all of this some days you're gonna have a great day at work some days you're not gonna be a great parent some days you're gonna be a great parent not feel good at work I mean if you can get to a place where you feel like 70% that's a win right In my early days as a mom, I was surprised at how unhelpful I found my partner and how like all on me it felt. And I was not prepared for that. Like no one told me that I was going to just hate Mark. I'll try to consider that maybe you don't need to get divorced in the first year, that, that what you're feeling is normal. I am like a, you know, whatever works kind of parent. For me, it's been very empowering to like, just say no. <laughs> like, no, because no. <laughs> I'm busy, Phillips, and I feel like I'm a scary mommy. <laughs>